I came up with the idea for the Viking Knit Tool um, about six years ago. I had a friend, uh, we went to a class to learn how to do Viking Knit, and it was uh, done on a dowel, a wooden dowel. And I found it quite difficult and I didn't like doing it, so I didn't pursue doing it. And then uh, several years later, this friend that I went with had a bead store in uh, the town where I live in Idaho in, in the U.S. And she asked me to teach classes and I said, you know, I really don't want to. It was not fun at all. I didn't enjoy it. But she kept talking and talking to me about it and I finally agreed. And we had a class and it was difficult for the students uh, to do it the old way. So uh, I sat down with my husband and we thought about the different ways uh, that we could improve uh, the experience, one being that if we could just start weaving immediately. And we came up with the Lazy Daisy tool. Because it gives you um, an immediate satisfaction, I think uh, doing the weave itself is very restful. And uh, it's something that's very portable, something you can take with you easily. Uh, stick in your pocket, you can go on the train with it, or if you're sitting waiting for someone. And it's, uh, it's an ancient technique, and, and a quick technique, and it just lends itself to doing a lot of different types of design with wire. So it, it's, it's kind of an uh, uncharted territory. Now that we have the tool, everyone's able to make it faster, so we're seeing some really great designs coming up. Uh, the different types of materials I like to use, um, well, are, are the wires. Um, I haven't found anything else that really works well with this particular tool other than wire, so it's really geared towards that. And I like to stay in the range, uh, the US range would be like a 24 to 26 gauge wire. Um, however, my husband likes to work with the heavier gauges of wire in the 20 gauge, and it uh, can look more like a chain mail project. So anything, any kind of wire that will hold its shape can be used on the Lazy Daisy on either of the tools. I have been jewelry making for probably 50 years, a long time. I didn't start with wire. Wire is relatively new for me, uh, really with the invent of the Lazy Daisy tool. Before that, I was a bead artist and I've done a lot of different types of medium. Uh, I think just the creativity uh, and as uh, it could be even as a means of escape. You know, it's something that is very individual and very personal. And I think it's just a, a great way to express yourself. Everything, you know, um, I, I, I will uh, start with a project that I have in mind and then pursue the elements to go with that project, but it never turns out that way. It's just a transition of the soul to what the design is. Uh, it could be something I saw in a parking lot, something I saw at some trees, it could be our, our yard, it could be a model, you know, that I see on a fashion runway, or even color. Color is a very, very big inspiration for me. I like tanzanite a lot, uh, rheolite. Um, I, I really like the ones that have uh, marbling textures where they're very, very individual stones. I like those the best. You need a Viking knit tool, you need a spool of wire, and you need a draw plate, and that's it. You're ready to go and create.